hey welcome to another vlog this isn't the best lighting but we're starting the vlog off with going to happy hour with a couple of my friends today is my friday i took tomorrow off because i'm getting my wisdom teeth pulled out yeah mm -hmm. anyways i think it's only right that i deserve a plate of fries before i pull out my teeth and can only drink soup for the next three days. So let me show you my fit and then let's get going. My bed's kind of a mess right now, but my overshirt is from Zara. My little tank is also from Zara. And then these pants, surprise, they're also from Zara. These are actually the pants I showed you in my fall haul on the last vlog. See how nice and high-waisted and the length is so perfect. When I have shoes on, it perfectly covers my shoes. Man, all these cords are really, really not vibing with me right now. Anyways, also, don't you hate it when this happens? Like every time you put on lip gloss, and your hair gets stuck to your mouth is so annoying! <laughs> Good morning. I think I'm gonna mix in a quick workout. I'm thinking hit and maybe some abs. Or should I do booty again? tough before I have a very busy and exciting and not in a great way day but I'm heading to the lawyer's office later this morning to deal with some stuff with the apartment and then my wisdom teeth are coming out all four of them and I'm staying awake for it I'm not going under I'm just gonna get general or um what do you call that numbing don't know. Don't know what it's called. The nerves haven't quite hit me yet, but I know when I'm in the chair, I'm going to be very anxious. So hopefully it goes better than I think it's going to go. I opted to not go under because it was quite a big price difference and I was in the mode of saving money for the apartment for furniture shopping. And I was like, you know what? I can endure two hours of them cutting into my mouth awake. And now I'm slightly regretting it, but... I will update, well I mean I'll try to update sometime this weekend. I don't think I'm going to be able to talk for a little bit. Apparently when you have st stitches and you're not supposed to talk too much because you might burst them. My mom did that and I was like, I'm absolutely not going to do that. But let's just do a workout and take it one step at a time. Okay, this might be TMI. Let me put you down first. Okay, this might be TMI. But you know when you're like thinking you're about to get your period and then you do a workout and then you feel like not good okay like you're not on your period yet but like you feel something happening in here that is what's happening to me right now anyways this combo has been fun i'm gonna go take a shower mm -hmm. i did it wasn't as bad as i thought it would be so okay the numbness has subsided so i can talk more but i still have gauze in i'm looking a little swollen not as bad as i thought it was gonna be to be honest it's definitely sore my dentist didn't give me painkillers like what's up with that she was like all right well have a nice day i'm like where are the drugs at though so i took a couple advil i'm probably gonna go make myself some soup take out the gauze and try and eat something i'm a little worried about the discomfort that i'm gonna feel i've also had to change out my gauze every 30 minutes until i stop bleeding and i've been bleeding this is not stopping like i'm gonna run out of gauze ma'am like what do I do if I run out of gauze? Just put toilet paper in there. Also, I finished that book, Verity, by Colleen Hoover. Crazy. Honestly, just crazy. That's all I have to say. Okay, I took the gauze out so I can actually speak properly. It definitely hurts. But I made myself some chicken noodle soup. Now I'm just gonna watch some good girls on Netflix. Look at this golf ball that is on my face. I imagine this is what it would be like if I got punched in the face. It feels like a giant bruise but it's only on one side of my face. Like this side, chilling. This side. Oh. Also this side is still bleeding and I have one last piece of gauze left, so it's in there. But what happens after that? Do I bleed out? Good morning, everyone. Today is the one, two, three, four, five, six day. Fifth day. Today is the fifth day after my wisdom teeth surgery. It's still a little difficult to talk, but it's a lot better. I'm still on a liquid diet. Just made myself a smoothie, which has been hilarious drinking smoothies because it's actually kind of cold in Vancouver. So I'm like drinking them and shivering at the same time. I do still have a bit of swelling and bruising along my jaw, but it's gone down a lot. I will probably have a video clip of me at full peak swelling, but if not, I'll insert a photo here. I am gonna do like a full debrief on my experience with wisdom teeth removal in this video, but I just got two really exciting packages that I wanna show you first. 
Okay, this isn't going to be that exciting because I'm not opening the boxes, but I first got my dining chairs from West Elm. So I'll insert a picture of what they look like here. Obviously, I didn't make it very much past the door. My family's away on vacation, so I had to just leave it there. And then I also got a bed frame from CB2. So this is our bed. Again, had to get the delivery people to just leave it here because I was on a call, so I couldn't get them to move it into my basement where I'm storing all of my furniture, but I will insert a picture of what our bed looks like here. I'm super, super excited. It feels like all of our furniture is really just coming together. We pretty much have everything delivered except for our bar stools. And then our couch is actually gonna be delivered on the day of to our new apartment. So it's all coming together. The basement is filled to the brim with so many pieces of furniture and things. So I'm just happy it's all coming together. And there's luckily been no product delays so far knock on wood hopefully it stays that way but yeah i will talk to you guys soon okay it is quite a few hours later i am now getting ready friends are coming over to have a little cocktail night one of my friends is super into making cocktails he's a bartender so he typically makes us really fun unique cocktails and we all chip in and just have a good time it's kind of nice because, you know, we get to have a few drinks and whatnot, but it's also not like a rager, you know what I mean? So it's a nice kind of weekday activity, at least for me anyways. I don't really get hungover, so maybe that's why. So yeah, I'm just kind of getting ready for that. I like that I can actually partake in this activity, even though I'm still recovering from my wisdom teeth removal. So, I mean, I can definitely drink things. So sign me up, okay? Calories. <laughs> you guys, Kath has come over and is making me dinner. That I have for your teeth. It is for my teeth. Sorry for you. Oh, okay. Well, this was nice and it turned really pitiful. <laughs> Hello, it is a very rainy day in Vancouver today and I just wanted to jump on here now that it has been exactly a week since I got my wisdom teeth removed and just give you an update in terms of how the procedure went, how I'm feeling, the recovery, etc. If you've already gotten your wisdom teeth removed, you can totally skip this part because you already know what's up. But for anyone who is getting their teeth removed, let me put you on in my experience to hopefully make you feel slightly better. Don't get me wrong, I had a really easy procedure. Both of my teeth on the top were already poking through and all four of my teeth teeth were growing in straight. So if your teeth are growing in sideways, it's a totally different story. I cannot relate. But I had decided to not go under for my procedure. I would be awake for it and just have general freezing around like a normal tooth extraction because ultimately I wanted to save money and specialists cost a lot more money and I'm moving out soon. So every dollar counts, you know? And I'm honestly really glad that I did that. The freezing was A1. I didn't feel a single thing. I wore earphones the entire time and played some sick tunes because you definitely do not want to hear what they're doing, okay? There's a lot of drilling and a lot of like zzz and a lot of like <laughs> you know like you don't want to hear that stuff okay trust me so that was super good the procedure was pretty quick and only took around an hour and a half and it felt really like i was in and out and then they just sent me on my way like no painkillers no nothing they were like just ice it make sure that you're not using a straw obviously liquid only diet and then just clean your mouth with some salt water starting the next day for the next three days so that is what i did the healing process was definitely annoying i will say my jaw obviously swole up i showed you clips of that i have like a bruise here you can't really see it on camera but it's like a big yellow bruise there for the most part the most annoying thing was a starving so hungry girl i was so hungry like I would eat soup and then be starving like two seconds later but not enough to want to have more soup but there's like no snack that exists that can like fit into this diet that will help you. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna just be hungry. And then anytime I tried to eat something that wasn't just liquid based, I would like try and like chew on it with like my front teeth, like, nye, nye, nye. but that just took way too long. My food was cold. I was like taking like an hour to eat one tiny dish of things. So it was just really annoying to go through it. But a week later, I'm feeling a lot better. I'm still drinking mostly soup and having like little bits of like solid food mixed in there. But for the most part, I'm not just like munching down on like a burger or anything, you know what I'm saying? And then the other thing is I think I tried talking too quickly after my procedure. So two days later, I was like seeing some friends and whatnot and I was talking and the next day I woke up and my jaw and gums felt so, so sore. I think like the third and fourth day um, were the worst days for me. It was just really sore, really tense. A lot of tension in the stitches, just really annoying. It also was really uncomfortable to swallow for like 
four days straight, four or five days straight. Every time I swallowed, I would feel like the tension on my stitches on the bottom. And that was really disgusting. And also just like a gross feeling. I feel like I'm still talking a little weird now. It feels like it's still kind of like puffy in the back on the bottom of my mouth. And like, I'm kind of like salivating a lot, like hot, I know. But it is definitely getting a lot better. And like, as you can see, the swelling is pretty much all gone. So that is the most ideal. I didn't have any like extreme painkillers again. I just took some Advil every once in a while. That's pretty much it. So if you are worried about your wisdom teeth, talk to your dentist, obviously. They'll let you know what the best way forward is, but maybe if you have a similar situation as me, easy peasy, you got this. It's gonna be fine, okay? Anyways, I don't really know what's in this vlog, but I think I'm gonna end this one here. Let me know if you have any questions about wisdom teeth removal or if you wanna see or if you have any requests for future videos and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.